Hello, hello, hello. I am going to create an edu video. What, what am I calling them? Um, anyhow, an educational video, share screen one, where I now have the Vic Toastmasters meeting. It's the Vic Toastmasters Club, so I'll go home on that. Okay, so when I go, when I open it, it goes home, right. So now we go to meetings, and when I go on the calendar, I can select the executive meeting, right? So the minutes that I've got, are they from that last meeting? I believe so. I'm just checking what I'm referring to from the 4th of the 4th, right. So here, only club officers can access that on the calendar. When you look at your calendar, let me open that in another tab so that I can jump back and forth. So when I, because in this club, I am a club officer. My name is here. I'm not one of the official officers registered at Toastmasters International, the seven positions, president, VPE, VP membership, VPPR, secretary, treasurer, sergeant at arms or immediate past president. However, for our club and for the area as well, actually, I'm easy speak support and I appear in this table of club officers for this year. That's valid until the 30th of June. 2023 and my name appears here so all the names that are here in the club so if we had other people here as well that we've nominated who are supporting us they will also on the calendar have access to the executive meetings so I'm telling you about different aspects of Easy Speak and the calendar view of the executive committee meeting is only available to the executive committee members. So here I have gone to the executive committee meeting and if you see edit meeting text and I assume that you can see that if you can see the executive committee however if you do not see that then you need to contact exactly this person easy speak support or vice president education to ask them to give you the permission to edit the executive committee meeting. So I think probably the secretary should be able to do that as well and should also see this. However, if you don't see this command, edit meeting text, then you haven't been granted the permission. So you need to be granted the permissions by the vice president education or the easy speak support. Then you just click on edit meeting text, paste the text, of the meeting that you want to share, the minutes of, and then save. And then anybody who goes into this meeting will then see that text there. Now I haven't added that there yet because I've only got the um, PDF version of the minutes. And I'm making this to show the person who asked for it how to do it. And I think it's valuable for everybody to know how to do that. So that's basically it. Then you save it. And next time you go into this executive committee, you will see it. And you can do that on all meetings. You can actually add text. So just as this text has been added here for the meeting that didn't happen, you can still edit the meeting text if you see this command here on your entry. Edit meeting text and you can always add the minutes of the meeting to say what actually happened during the meeting if there are any anything special that happened at the top there. That's it. So thank you very much and end the meeting.